A throwback for Grand Finals, y'all. Zigo Joe coming from the loose side of bracket versus Dexter. I don't know who you got, but I don't. I know that um, my man Dexter has been winning these in the past. But I have to see if he can continue his streak. Already getting started right here, and Zigo Joe showing that at low percentages, Palu is the perfect character to combo Wolf. Good God, it just feels like. Wolf is a character that he's slippery, he can be hard to hit, but Palu could just the perfect tools for it. His back air beats Wolf back air. Uh, excuse me, her back air beats his back air. Her neutral air beats his neutral air. Her up air beats anything that Wolf has. So this character can air to air Wolf with the best one. Look at Seagull Joe applying the pressure. That edge guard into the ledge trap was absolutely phenomenal, exploiting all of the weaknesses that this Wolf has and already getting started on stock two. Man, I keep out the gates talking up Dexter on all of a sudden Seagull Joe trying to make me look a fool. Dex trying to answer back to the back air of his own, charging up the down smash, but great angle. Joe actually came from above the platform, should be above the, uh, the edge, so was not necessarily vulnerable to the two frame right there if he gets the instant snap. Definitely mixing up Dexter's timings right there, forcing Dex to not just immediately commit to uh, the smash attack super early. Forward tilt, not going to connect, nor is the Nair right there, so an, a rare miss on lead trapping from Dexter. Cosmos stage zone, we're going to have another opportunity here. His third time the charm. Uh, what? <laughs> Dexter backed off super hard right there, still claims the stock. I just want to know where he was going. Like, he ran all the way back to center stage just about. Smash not quite going to claim the stock. Great DI from Dexter. I'm stunned that didn't kill. Back throw will, though. Get up attack actually still causes Dexter to cross up Seagull Joe for an easy shield grab. Back throw there from Joe again. Now, Joe has been slowly scraping the rust off as he's been going to more tournaments. And I've been seeing his head traps get a little bit better as well. We'll have to see if he's going to be able to exploit them in this matchup. <laughs> Looks like he's doing a pretty good job so far as Dexter at a loss right here in that spot. Rinse and repeat. No, can't quite connect with that neutral. So a second lease on life here as Dexter. He's just trying so hard to hit a forward air, his decks. He, he's, he's got his spacing perfectly. He's waiting to toss it out, but it just feels as though Joe has the air to airs on point. He's got a hitbox in any spot the decks is trying to occupy. Rolling away from edge, not trying to get grabbed up by Palu. Great parry from Joe, but can't make anything out of it. Dash attack not going to connect either. Instead, Dex claims the stock. So I don't want to say that this is impossible, but it is. <laughs> I was going to say, it's like if Dexter got one, like, down throw into tech chase situation, he could have killed Joe right there. So props to Joe for just not ever getting put in that situation. Uh, that is a bold way to start game two. Dexter runs off a platform towards Seagull Joe and then pulls out the blasters like, all right, we're, we're, we're starting this off with projectiles, right? <laughs> Hopefully that doesn't set the tempo right there because that was a very quick game one. I was stunned by how aggressive Joe was, but good God, did it pay off as Dexter just did not seem to be ready for that at all. That was... So I, there must be a slight bit of invuln at the start of that counter because it didn't activate, yet I could have sworn that that back air hit. Like it could just be that I need a new pair of glasses, but good God, I could have sworn that that toe of that boot was directly in Seagull Joe's face. Dexter basically keeping this solid at the edge, but Joe just teleports right back, and that is um, 
That is a special right there that Joe's been employing to just avoid any of these edge traps. You have to go ahead and respect the teleport recoveries. Extra files off a pre bit prematurely with that up smash. But the aggressive up B, the BP up B, will actually allow him to uh, set him up to claim that stock. Such a good tool right there. It's always fresh because no wolves are ever doing that nonsense in neutral. So you can just go ahead and toss that out, hold down on the stick, and make sure that, that just pokes at your opponent. And at high percentage, that usually gives you full state. Back air finally does it right there as Joe was posting up for that one for quite some time. Back here, and then the actual the laser connected too. So I was talking about this in a previous match. Uh, Dexter, what he'll do off stage is those lasers serve a dual purpose. Yes, they're extra percentage, which is always great, but they also stop your aerial mobility. They make it so that they limit the angles that you can recover at, and that makes it a lot easier to two frame. It's all part of the two frame action there for Wolf, one of the best in the game at it. And catching that dash tag to claim that stock is Dex. So a solid lead here. After Joe built up a crazy amount of momentum in stock one of game one, it feels like things have slowed down a little bit in game two, and it has been much to Dexter's favor. Okay, going for the special sauce right there. Was Dex, but not quite gonna connect. That neutral air is unreasonably disjointed. I am stunned that that actually hit. Like the last lingering hitbox, it still is disjointed enough to uh, snipe Joe out as he was trying to jump over Dex. Sneaking under the explosive flame with that up smash. Sick move from Dex right there. And this is, this is looking brutal. The man is taking him coast to coast and is from edge trap to edge trap. And Joe had one opportunity and missed a grab and that is all she wrote, a two stock from Dex. I was, I was getting ready to talk Joe up after that game one and Dex says nah. I have an answer back here. I can adapt. We both know that this has been a set that I think Dexter won the last couple, but they've been back and forth in the past. So perhaps, perhaps maybe this is going to go to set two. I think this is going to be a big game right here, though. If, if Seagull Joe having to win multiple on Dexter's counter picks might be a bit difficult. Because uh, Dex's counterpicks are usually PS2, and he knows that stage like the back of his hand. So that is something that um, Dex can also do in this matchup. The the blaster is such a oh no, are you dead? That footstool killed you? Oh my god, that's so unfortunate. Dexter, a little bit of a smile right there, so he's definitely like shaking that one off. That's uh. An odd option from Joe, but heck of an option indeed. Using that double jump, or excuse me, the uh, the footstool to regain his double jump right there, Seagull. Oh, he's really aggressive back here at the catching. Dexter lack and trying to go for aggressive aerial. This is not looking very good for Dex. I don't think he has a double here, so that means it's an easy counter. And these two are going back and forth. Two heavyweight prize fighters trading body blow after body blow. Dexter gets the reverse nair. That's a tech that he used to use all the time on this teleport recovery. Falls out of the nair is a bit unfortunate right there, but Joe still gets a dash attack for Dex's trouble. And really, one thing that I, I've I've been seeing a lot of people realizing this is that Wolf's game plan at low percent is relatively linear. They want to land fair and do a grab. That's that's really it. So Joe's been playing around that phenomenally. We just haven't seen Dexter go for that. He's had to diversify his options at low to mid percents. And because of that, Joe is able to react more. He's able to catch Dexter in the air more. And he's able to secure these leads. Does land a grab into the not bear, but at this percent, you're only getting a little bit out of it. Does land the forward smash, though, catching 
Joe not throwing out a bash air, par a back air, excuse me, Paris thought, but whipping the dash grab into an immediate stock loss right there. So it feels like whenever Joe gets up a big lead like that with that um, early stock one kill with the footstool, it can be a crazy mountain to climb. Like this man just, nobody holds a lead in our region like Seagull Joe, except perhaps, this is a deep cut, my man Alaska. Real homies remember Alaska the Villager. That man was, um, you could not pay him to hold forward. <laughs> So we are back into the thick of things here, and we have a what here, Dexter? I haven't seen the Dexter Roy in like six months. This is, I don't want to say a deep pocket, but this is a pocket character. Like his Roy and his Lucina are both pretty solid, but usually he would only pull them out when ZD went wolf against him because he just hated the wolf ditto. So this is an interesting option here in the deciding game of set one. Down throw into using the double jump right there is Dexter. In this matchup, it is so terrifying to, to, to fire off a double jump against um, Power for that reason, because your upbeat is just, it's, it's big. You basically might as well not have an upbeat. You may as well pick Krom in this matchup, to be honest. That is the Roy special I've ever seen. Jab your shield once, spot dodge, jab again. <laughs> it's the old, I bet you think you can punish this. So Dexter does manage to clean up that stock though. Now, what is his edge? His edge trapping with his wolf is sick. I'm really curious to see what his edge trapping with the Roy is. Just rolling out and then using that down tilt to go ahead and sneak underneath that dash attack from Palu. It is a great tool whenever Palu's trying to go ahead and toss out those grounded options. Good pivot grab here, too. I'm taking this Roy. It feels a little bit more polished than I thought it would be. Did he jump? I feel like he jumped in that spot. So that was a uh, very fortunate that, that Seagull Joe tossed out three projectiles that are trying to go crazy off stage. Oh no, that forward air hit below the stage. And the counter actually, Joe mistimed it. That's an awkward one right there. Joe had a stock served up to him on a silver platter. Does still take it with that dash attack, but don't have to worry about what could have been thanks to that easy cleanup right there. Ready to teleport again. Joe's really doing a good job of mixing up his options. Back throws at the lid trap and alert the press. Eagle Joe managed to grab that jab. Anytime I see a Roy jab get punished, I'm just like, How, what does he know that I know? <laughs> uh, falling out of the side beat right there, the limp pool noodle that is the tip of Roy's sword, not quite gonna work, but finally lands a sweet spot with that up air to clean the stock. And only 50% here, this is nothing for Roy. The character racks damage pretty well, and also the, the kill disparity between these two is ridiculous. Okay, Dexter, that is like, that is a super smart option. You recognize that Joe typically, <laughs> whenever you see him running at you, Joe likes to jump and get that nair going. So yeah, toss out that multi-hit up smash. We are seeing like the weakness in this matchup here is that that forward air and that back air are both like almost unpunishable. You just, your, your sword just is not long enough. You have to get parries if you want to go ahead and open a man up. That's just tossing out back airs and bears with this power. Dex giving up a little bit of space with these pivots back. Now Joe, full stage control. Oh no, Dexter, no, yeah. not like this. It's not Tuesday, Dexter, you don't have to do it. No, 
by suicide, an unfortunate way to end set one. So now with the bracket reset, the question is, does Dexter go back to Wolf? PS2, the pick for stage, or for game one here, and it does look like we are seeing the return of the space animal. So double checking the record between these two, and Dexter has won the last three that they've played. So this, is the, this is the first win in a bit since really it's like 12 weeks. But before that, Dexter has won 13 of the last 14 sets between these two. So that was a solid win for Joe, but he's going to have to go ahead and keep the pressure up right here because on set two, it looks like Dexter might have something to say about keeping that string of victories alive. Toss him up, trying to go ahead and get the forward air, not going to work. And Calling out that teleport too with the up tilt. Such a low committal move in that spot. I dig that from X. Great Navic grab. That's it's a tool that is really underutilized in this game because of how bad grounded movement is. It's like most characters will actually do better off just crossing on a back air or something like that. But Dexter seems to use it a lot more than other wolves. Like Wolf standing grab, not great. Dash grab, bad. Pivot grab, pretty good. And go ahead and use the tools that you have. And the desert must take such water as he is offered after all. Oh, that was a backer coming out from Dexter. Great use of the dash attack in bowl from Seagull Joe. And just basically say this is a no fly zone, my man. You gotta go ahead and be careful with the hitbox you're gonna toss out in front of me. That is odd. I, I, Dexter uses jab like more than any wolves that I typically see. I, I never know why. I'm just like, shouldn't we just have fired off an up tilt right there to get the kill? But he knows something that I don't, because clearly he's he's the one in grand finals. Dash grab not working out from Dexter, so Joe just breaks down the interaction, just runs across the stage, basically says, "All right, you come to me now," and very nearly claims the kill right there. Great angle though from Dex dodging the second two frame attempts. And Dexter had a solid lead, but this is this is falling away. Seagull Joe has been doing a really good job in neutral here on this stock. This is looking brutal all of a sudden. Like that lead that Dexter had, just Seagull Joe's been in high and in fact kill percent for a while, but because Dexter's been kind of swinging, trying to get that straight hit to claim the stock, he just hadn't been able to get a dang thing going. And Joe is continuing. No, he's dead. Now he's dead. <laughs> Gotta go ahead and break off the hype train every now and then. <laughs> Back to neutral right here. I'm surprised that Dexter, yeah, there we go, isn't pulling out the gun more. Like, if Joe's just gonna go ahead and go across the stage and short hop until the cows come home, let him know that you got a nine in the back pocket. Like, you don't have to put up with this. You do not have to run at the man. Joe does, like, steal games from just being more defensive than his opponent a lot. He basically says, oh, if you're not going to realize that I'm not going in, then I'm just going to keep not going in. Tech Jason gets the up smash. Not quite the down smash to get the kill, but solid damage right there. Joe on notice. Just be careful with his roll habits. Oh, can't get the turnaround. That could be big here from Dex. Now Joe, full stage control, off stage. Tries for the auto reticle. Not going to work. Neither is the two frame. So Dex able to get back. Let's see what he can make out of this. No, not like this. Not at 110. That is definitely a fake kill streak. I'm sitting there like, they did not buff Palu's back air recently. <laughs> no way in hell that kills. Dash X, oh, that DI was not good from Joe, but he avoided the early exit, but that nice little tech from Dex will do it. Because those teleport recoveries do not have a hitbox, and because they are relatively vulnerable to being two-framed, you just go ahead and toss on any kind of lingering hitbox, and for some reason, Wolf's behind on his neutral air kills. That is definitely one of those uh, angles that the interns programmed. <laughs>
right back at it here with game one going Dexter's way. Watch see what Seagull Joe's answer is in this spot. Not going to quite get the two frame of the stanky leg, nor can he get the grab right there. So he's going to eat a ton of damage there with the rapid jabs. It feels like rapid jabs at edge are like ridiculously powerful. Like you always take like 30 to 40 to 50 damage, depending on how big your character is, because it's just so hard to like knock you off the stage with it. It's like the, it feels like the ground is really sticky in this game. It's, it's hard to like slide off platforms. It's hard to like platform drop for some reason. And it's also hard to slide off those edges. What it isn't hard to do, apparently, is for Seagull Joe to go on a tear, force Dexter to edge, and claim the stock nice and early in that up smash. All right, the up smash will claim the stock right there, but not too much extra credit either for Seagull Joe. Up smash immediately catching Joe, trying to be a little bit aggressive coming back from that edge. Are we gonna get the back here? We are, but not the sweet spot. So Joe lives another moment or two because of that ever so slight misspacing right there. Good dash attack right there from Dex, claiming full stage control again, and Dex can't get the sweet spot again on his aerials. It's twice in a row now where Seagull's been like frames away from dying, but instead gets the back throw of his own. And now Dexter, what was that option, Joe? <laughs> Run off auto critical? That was a cool decision, but that did not pay off whatsoever. Dex actually got back to stage first and killed you for it. Yeah, I, I feel like Dexter's really realized that when Joe just runs all the way across the stage, he doesn't have to run into the wall of back here, so he can just go ahead and pull out the projectile. And that has been the recipe for success so far here. Wow, I am stunned that he was actually able to get over Joe. If Joe had turned that around, it would have worked, but instead he'll have to rely on the back air to claim that one. This is exactly what Joe needs, the Nair getting Dex off stage, but look at the patience right there. No air dodge, no American air dodge also to get back to edge. He just held all of his options. And now Dex in the driver's seat here. Not gonna get the board tilt, but that forced out the air dodge, traps into a back air. Auto reticle not gonna force Dex into a spot, but he could not get the two frame again. <laughs> Joe using ledge cancel teleport. I never thought I'd see the day. That is not a tech that I've, I've seen him employ particularly frequently. We get the dash attack right there, not going to connect neither. This is looking like Joe has an avenue back in. No way Explosive Flames kills at 100. Oh my lord, Max Rage, Seagull Joe steals the game. 182, Palu lived to. And Dexter ain't going to live to 100. That was... I am stunned that that one claimed the stock. That, what a call out by Joe. Um, what a stock by Dexter. I, I can't believe it. These down throw combos, every time he hits one of those, I feel like he is just on fire tonight. And finishing it with a fair back air. To, I mean, that, that was disgusting, first of all. I, I think we all need to have a conversation about how Wolf just killed basically off of one string. Fairest character in the game, at least very suddenly, isn't it? So now Dexter having lapped Seagull Joe in percent with a solid lead. This is going to be 
Okay, that's a gift right there. That side B, I think he was... I, I cannot imagine that he was trying to go ahead and just fling himself into Joe right there. That was, had to have been just a slight mistake. Gets the tech, so he's not going to go ahead and be batted around by that up air that Joe would have certainly turned into like 60%. That move with low percent can be brutal if you get the drag down. Now in the spot where Seagull Joe actually has to press to go ahead and open Dexter up, and in the interim, Dex can just react to whatever Joe's doing, and then, yeah, eventually Joe's going to make some kind of a mistake, and at 160, you don't have any of those left. Yeah, Joe is a relatively defensive player. Um, I feel as though he performs really well because he doesn't give you anything. Like he, he forces you to make the mistakes. The problem is that it's kind of like the nature of the game, that when Dexter has the lead, He's going to go ahead and force Palu in, and Palu doesn't really have tools to just open me up. He isn't the fastest, so she's not going to get like a bunch of free... Um, not going to get a bunch of free Tomahawks, so you have to kind of earn your stocks. And Joe is doing a good job of earning it, but look at this, 86% already, so he has to play this perfectly here, and he might have to steal a stock early like he did in that last game. Auto Reticle getting some free percent right there. I do like Dex tossing out the blaster every now and then just to remind Joe that you can't come in, but finally rolls through the back air and then immediately fires off that down smash to claim that one. These two have just been back and forth and back and forth. Like I, I, I'm stunned by how even they are given like the record. When I looked at this and I saw that like Dexter had a long, long string of victories against Joe. I was thinking he was going to run away with this Grand Finals, but instead, he hasn't been able to have more than the slightest of leads. All right, so set one was a 3-1. Are we going to see set two become a 3-1? Place your bets now, y'all. Dash grab not gonna work out for Dexter. I'm stunned by how bad Wolf's dash grab is. Thank God. This character needs at least like one bad thing. They buffed his jab because his jab used to just like not function, and I wasn't particularly happy about that because he just needs at least one bad move, and I guess it's just his dash grab now. It's like his dash grab and his down tilt aren't phenomenal, but it's okay because he gets fair bear. So this character doesn't get to have anything more. Back throw for full stage control right here. Joe has to go ahead and expand the double jump, but that's the benefit of this big platform here, is that Joe typically can go ahead and use that teleporter much better, but Dexter placed in his back here as well, and able to go ahead and be very healthy here on his first stock. Oh, that, that movement too from Dexter. You don't typically think of Wolf as a character that can open you up with movement, but oh, what was that? That down smash killed so early and hit so low. At this point, it looks like all Dexter needs to do is tap it in one more low percentage string that forces Joe to edge. Could be it. Joe needs to go ahead and make this ledge guard count, perhaps. Instead, Dexter gets a down throw dash attack. This time, Joe, just a standard get up. Not going to go ahead and try to roll in. Just go down, Dex. Okay. All right, trying to go ahead and get the down smash again to end the game right there. Instead, catches the initial dash for that forward smash. Great call out from Joe. He's going to need a couple more of those, though. Oh, that forward air would have been so sick. If Joe hit that, that was a stock. 100%. This is what I, I, again, I really appreciate this about Joe's play style, is that he start, whenever he starts going for Hail Marys, he usually picks smart ones. Like, I, I understand exactly what he was going for right there, and had that worked, that was his comeback tool for sure. Instead, he has started to go ahead and bring this a little bit closer, but now Dexter with the back throw, full stage control, is aggressive fair from Joe. Still not going to go ahead and earn him his stock back. Not gonna kill. It is 
Oh no, Joe, not quite ready to go ahead and DI that one and exits to a 3-1. He had a 3-1 in stock one and well, time is a flat circle because we've seen the same thing, but on the opposite side. So, y'all, I hope you have enjoyed the tournament. Thank you so much for stopping by. I know we've got BTS on over the weekend with Collision, so thank you so much for helping to support Xanadu by watching us. i got to go ahead and thank my co-caster for much of the evening, as we have had a, uh, a dearth of casters, unfortunately, tonight. So I hope that you have all been putting up with my prattling um, particularly well for the past hour or so. Thanks so much for stopping by, and if you are looking for more Smash content, we'll be back on Sunday for extra credit. Tuesday for Smash at Xanadu. I believe that's going to be $4.99 this Tuesday. And then on Friday, we'll be back for the grind. Thank you all.